right. <sighs> Eating good on. Is that ever? Well, I mean, you would have thought they would have replaced something now. Jeremy Kyle's kicked the bucket. He's not dead. No, but I mean, surely there's some other self-deprecated TV programme that can make me feel a bit better about myself. Eee. Hey. It's funny you say that, because as my father used to say, I've got just the thing to put a smile on your face. Previously on Love Island, Danielle has a confession to make. Well, I just got bored and I, I didn't expect it to swim up there. And what swim up exactly? The villa fish, yeah? It'll be like throwing a hot dog down a corridor the dirty bitch. Meanwhile, Stevie tells us the thoughts on his crush. I think of this wifey as like a bit of a electricity top up type thing, right? Here is out, here is out. Right? I give it money, I stick it in, make sure I'm in charge all the time, all the time. And uh, without that, I couldn't live. Oh, Stevie, that last thing was amazing. Is that because you love her? Don't be fucking daft, will you? I already signed up because there's three bevies in the fridge and all I had to do was fill out a form. Fucking easy. Oh, yes, Daddy likes. We love that. Keep sticking that on. Wait, how do you know what he said? You what? Oh, no, man. No, just pay attention, will you? They're about to start a challenge or something. What? Like one of those eating ones off I'm a Celebrity? Well, probably not. But I mean, if they find a match, they'll probably create an eating challenge of their own. <laughs> Daniel Warren, villain on. <laughs> Back in the villa, the group are separated doing the household chores. But it seems Stevie is struggling to adjust to the villa lifestyle. Oi, oh, yeah, man, piss off. Danielle has called Stevie over to the shite woven swing for an outside chat. <coughs> Ew, fuck, I've got a text. Ooh, read it out then. Pet, will you calm down as well? I can feel it. Your phone vibrate as well. All these shit woven seats, man. Oh, yes, my phone. Right, whatever, right, anyway, anyway. The text says, pure eyes out that last batch. Keep it coming. What? Uh, sorry, uh, shite. Uh, wrong, wrong text. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, it reads, Island does. The next challenge, ask Stevie to put his mini Stevie in the blender if he wants to couple up with this Danielle. Will he risk the vital thing every man needs for a one true love. Well, that's just fucking ridiculous. What kind of challenge is that? I know, but the the text says I've got to chop me knob off. Oh, what's this? It's like so. They're not looking for love at all. What? You actually thought they were going to find love on this show? Mm hmm. That's like Jimmy Savile saying it was just a sleepover. You're not expecting it. But whatever the outcome, you'll probably enjoy it. Now that's just sick. It's the truth. That's not the bloody point. I'm trying to stay monetized here. Back in the confession room and Stevie is back to tell us how the challenge went. Did he manage to get the balls to lose his own? Did I fuck? As we're now in the final after six long weeks. Here's a recap of our Islanders. Hi, I'm Danielle, I'm 21, and I work in a Middlesbrough club toilet. I haven't had much luck with love, but working in the men's toilet certainly has some handy advantages. I'm hoping to find quite a down-to-earth guy, you know, a nice banter, loves the clubs, and, oh, a pair of abs um, when we miss. None of the guests this year have abs. What? So everyone this year's fat as fuck. You fucking what? Hi, I'm Stevie, I'm the hard lad from the toon. A job. I didn't need a job. I'm a fucking gangster. Gangsters make their own jobs. Alright, then what's your business then? Oh, basically, it's this, um... 
packaging and delivering company and well you you ask for anything you want and I'll give it to you the same day it's about 100 to 200 quid a pop you know <laughs> pays for the kids heart <laughs> I didn't really know what I'm looking for in a woman to be quite honest but uh, if the shoe fits you can come to the balls you know that's the contestants let's see who they be well I'm gonna recouple with Stevie, because he's the only lad at the minute I trust. But will Stevie pick this slag, or will he deny his honestly and probably only true love? Right, listen to you stupid Scottish prick. I'm Stevie, one of the most hardest Newcastle chavs from... Well, Newcastle, but that's not the point. The only thing I need in my life is Big C. Fucking hell, I would have seen this coming. Well, you wrote the script. Oh, piss off, you anorexic fuck! If I wanted your opinion, I would have asked you shut up, Eddie Brian, you tit! You left bollock of society, you... Right? Gay? Fuck! Ooh, the betrayal has turned up to 150. Oh, it's hot. Someone pass me a towel. Right, so just to be clear here, I'm not getting fucked. No, I'm no, just you a slag. slag. Well, that took a bit of a turn. I wanted to see him plant the seed, butter the egg roll, sail the sausage down the gravy lake to Willy Wanka. All right, we we'll get it. Jesus Christ. Completely flaccid, floppy fin, dangling Dan, drooping Danny. Will you just shut up and put the kettle on, please? All right, but can I show you something first? If this has anything to do with the word flaccid, well, you can shove it up your ass. No, it's more wet. Nice. Rocks